In a national survey, college students were asked, how often do you wear a seatbelt when riding in a car driven by someone else? The response frequencies appear in the table to the right. Construct a probability model for seatbelt use by passenger. And then part B, would you consider it unusual to find a college student who never wears a seatbelt when riding in a car driven by someone else? I'm gonna show you a few different ways to crunch these out. So the old fashioned way, right, is just to total these up. Just get a calculator on, add up 108, 308, 512, 1364, and 2414. You'll get 4706. And so to find the never, you're gonna take 108 divided by that total of 4706. And when you do that, you'll get 0 0.023. We're rounding to three de decimal places, thousands, three decimal places. 0 0.023. Okay, let me show you another way to do it. If you have a, you know, we only have what? One, two, three, four, five different values here. Not a big deal to do that for each individual one. But let me show you a couple other hacks you can use. So one way you can do it is to copy this into Excel. This is not an Excel course, but most of you should have it on your computer. So when I open this up in Excel, click download, I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. I had to click enable editing. And so here is our values here now. One way we can do this, we can go ahead and sum this. So to sum that, you do have some keys you can go ahead and use up here, but this one's used all the time. So sum, put the parentheses, and you can drag and select those in the parentheses and press enter. And there's our sum right there. So there's our total. I can even give it a name if I wanted to, just so I know what that value is. A bold it to separate it, set it apart. Now what I can do, uh, I'm gonna create a formula to where I'm gonna take each of these values and divide it by 4706. So equals, and I'm gonna select, I'm not gonna type in 108, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna select that cell or type in B2, I find it easier to select it sometimes, divided by, and then I can put 4706. Press enter. Notice I get exactly the same thing. I can press this little button here, it'll round for me, which a lot of students like a lot. So there we go to three places. Now, here's where the magic happens. I can. It can, it's a little tricky. You got to hover your mouse. Do you see how the the pointer is now this little plus plus symbol? I can drag that down. It'll copy my formula. Notice when I click in this last one, for instance, it says B6 divided by 4706. That's exactly what I wanted. So again, not an Excel class, but that's a this is a really easy way to do this. I do this a lot in Excel, even though I use StatCrunch primarily for statistics, I will use Excel for something like this. So I could populate these other ones. So rarely would be 0 0.065. And we could go down for the other ones. Let me show you the last one in StatCrunch. So open it up in StatCrunch. Possibly a little less intuitive. I'm gonna go ahead and go to Stat, Tables, and Contingency. And I have just summary data. So stat, tables, contingency, summary data. I'm gonna select my frequency. So I'm trying to get contingency for that. And my row labels is a response. And I'm just gonna do percent of total. Now notice it does give me percent here. So I'm gonna to have to convert all of these to uh, decimals because we're looking for probability. And so for instance, notice this first one was 0.02 or 0.229, which is 0 0.023 if I round it. Next one, 0.065, and there we go. It's 6.54%. So we just shift that decimal point over two places to the left and so on. So this next one would be what? I'm gonna shift that decimal place two places over to the left. So it's gonna be 0 0.109. And notice on Excel, there we go, 0 0.109. And just go ahead and finish that out. You know, if I had to pick one way to do this, I would use Excel um, to do that. I'm just familiar with it, but it is certainly up to you. Okay, let's go and continue. Part B, would you consider it unusual to find a college student who never wears a seatbelt when riding in a car driven by somebody else? So what is our threshold here for unusualness? So there we, have, we have a couple different thresholds. One of them, we used Z-scores. And we said if it was sort of a, above and beyond two standard deviations from the mean. So if it was more than two standard deviations above or less than two standard deviations below, we call that unusual. Similarly, we say if a probability is less than 0 0.05, we would say that that's unusual. And so it we would say yes, because here's never at 0 0.023. And we say yes, because probability of never is less than 0.05.
So I hope that helps.